Hey guys, it's Joe from PocketNow.com, and back when I was a Windows Mobile guy, I really liked switching out the shell, which is the stock UI that you get around with, with third-party stuff. And I really like some stuff by SPBsoft. You Windows Mobile guys know what I'm talking about. Well, Zoom gives you that same capability by replacing its launcher apps or its home apps. So today I'd like to show you what one really innovative designer did when he developed a Zune interface for the Android. Let's go take a look. Okay, so this is a Nexus One running Android 2.2 and what I've done is I've gone out to the marketplace and I searched for Zune Home by Faded Divinity and I found this app. This is a replacement launcher app. It costs 99 cents US. You can try it and uninstall it within 24 hours to get a refund as evidenced by our little uninstall and refund button right there but I think it's pretty impressive for 99 cents it's still a little rough around the edges but it's a very nice app so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into it now you'll notice right away you've got basically four parts to this you've got your wallpaper in the background and this reuses the stock Android wallpapers any custom wallpapers that you have and even live wallpapers like the one I'm showing you right now it's got kind of a widget. It's not really a widget. It's just uh, a weather information area, if you will, uh, that says that my current weather is partly cloudy and 70 degrees, which, looking outside, it seems like that's about right. It's got a, uh, a little quick launch tray or a pin tray over here, which I don't have anything in right now, but I'll show you that in just a moment. And then you've got your stock list of frequently used apps. Now you can customize these through the settings and add stuff that you want, remove stuff that you don't. For example, let's go in to the settings down here and let's add Facebook and let's add Twitter and go back home. And now you'll notice we've got Facebook and Twitter right there. If we want to call somebody, let's tap on phone and it opens up the phone dialer. Simple as that. But when I first got the app, nothing else worked other than marketplace and settings everything else I tap and tap and tap and it would never ever ever do anything and it was frustrating in fact it was so frustrating I had to go out spend a few minutes googling it to find the answer so let me give you the uh, the shortcut right here let's go into our apps you'll notice a little bit different looking app drawer here and let's say I want to wire up my browser to the internet word on the home page so I'm gonna tap and hold and now I can either pin it to my quick list or launch it from any one of these. So I can launch it from internet and then when I tap on internet right there it works just like it should but it doesn't have to and the reason that doesn't come pre-wired is for example music. I've got music wired up to launch Pandora not to launch the stock music player because that's what I use to play my music so it's kinda nice that it's all of that configurable. Let's go ahead and jump in here and I'll show you the last part. This is Angry Birds. It's an awesome, awesome game that uh, we should be getting a full version here anytime now. Let's say I want to pin that to my quick list. Now over here on the side I've got that icon and when I scroll up and down it stays stationary. I can go in and look at my quick list just like that and then if I want to remove it I simply tap and hold and it will unpin it from that quick list. So, really, really kind of cool. Uh, very zune like uh, Not entirely Zune HD-ish. Uh, in fact, if we go back in here to settings, you can see some of the Metro style, I don't know, the, the overall Metro-ish look. How do you really call that? Kind of neat. Really, really ingenuitive putting an entirely foreign UI onto an Android phone and just really making it work. For 99 cents, it's well worth it. For impressing your friends, it's really worth it. So go ahead and give it a try. If you like this kind of video and you want to see other alternate launchers, you're going to want to subscribe to the Pocket Now video channel if you haven't done so already. I, I assume you already have, but i got to keep reminding you. If you like reading about this kind of stuff, head over to PocketNow.com and read some of our articles. We cover all kinds of stuff, not just Android, not just Launcher, but all the different mobile platforms including that one from Apple I forget its name um, a phone I don't know but go ahead and take a look and yes that is humor so for pocketnow.com I'm Joe Levi go ahead and leave me comments and let me know if you have found a very cool home launcher or an alternate UI 
or if there's something that you'd like to see in the future.